So how far can a nine star Eloise actually make it in the early game? Because that's something we've not tested in a while. We know like an E3 Eloise can get C lane 20 done, but it's been, it's been a while and there's been different things that have been changing in the game. And thanks to Star Wars Shooter here today, we have an opportunity to see how far this weak hero can go since she is so overpowered. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's see what this Eloise can do. So first off, we need to actually take the time and see what is going on with this account. Because yes, this has a very interesting uh, V4 Lady of Blossom Realm Melissa, which is probably something that was fun to chest out on. However, we have something pretty powerful. We have a pure gold crown that's glittery. And that's pretty big because usually a gold crown on Eloise eventually, you know, kind of peters off. But this one here... Uh, also increases regular damage reduction now if we did have the three star version the, the you know the the fully blinged out version we'd actually get to re refund this get it back after five rounds but either way this is going to be interesting we have a block hp stone which normally you want to go for block attack uh, but we do have a size amount of hp here too let's see what our treasure train is providing on an account like this not a ton that's pretty free to play friendly stats and yes this is a 100 free to play account i imagine there's really no star spawn correct there is a single lone star spawn here with no investment in it just yet so <laughs> pretty bare bones the other thing we do have to check we have to check the monster the monster is on its way to getting the hp rune maxed out because in the early game that is an important thing and last but not least we have to check out the tech we do have full inner ring and we also have the anti warrior tech. So this is going to be interesting to see how this goes. Now, we might need to tech in some of those old strategies. Um, <laughs> if you guys don't know the old strategies, the old strategies are, our strategies are the ice trolls. These ice trolls are actually, um, pretty key sometimes although it's normally if you're using like a tick strategy or something normally not as needed if you're doing an eloise because eloise doesn't have a problem getting hit most of the time we'll put them in the squad we're not going to give them any artifacts or anything that's the wrong place here's the place we're on 18 so let's see if this hero can do 19 and can do 20 i guess we could throw like a betty in there too but Let's go with the good old traditional squad here. Now, we got that. We got that. Nine star with an E plus copy. That would be pretty insane if this hero could actually somehow manage to figure it out. Yeah, these, these ice trolls aren't going to do anything unless we have some sort of upgrade. But again, we do have an upgraded crown, which might be something to look at on the new account strategies. Before, it was like get one golden crown, then go for other stuff. Whereas now it's like get a golden crown and also go for those D effect origin artifact chests. And surprisingly enough, holy cow, this hero is packing a punch. And like I said, the treasure train isn't anything super crazy that you couldn't get as a free to play player. My goodness, that was so stinking close. You know, the ice trolls almost seem kind of useless. You know what we do need to do? What would be the better option here? Oh man, hold on. I really want to make a six star death sworn on this account because that would be a huge boost to our overall damage. Where are you death sworn? We need what? So we need two copies of death sworn. So in order to make a death sworn, we need only two copies. Ooh, 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 ooh. that actually works out good because we have plenty of those. Uh, we got three, so we're gonna grab two of these. We'll just grab some of these other guys out here. We'll also grab those. Oh no. Oh no, I'm out of backspace. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, it looks like we can make it anyway. It's just gonna eat up some of those ice trolls that we made, but that's fine. We do need to get a couple more heroes out of the bag. I think that are quote unquote food tier that we don't care about. Because we do need to make it up to a six star. Oh wait, no, that only gives us one five star, doesn't it? Oh, I'm, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm, my brain, my brain, guys. Bad brain is an actual thing, trust me. You forget stuff all the time, it, it just gets worse. One, two, 
three and we'll just feed off you there we go so some of you guys that are new to the game might be wondering why we're even making this hero well we're making this hero for a big reason um we're even going to take it up to level 100 and that's because uh, when this hero dies, burns all enemies, dealing damage for 15 rounds. That essentially means the synergy that we're going to get with the monster right here, this burn synergy, is going to be there the entire fight. So that's pretty important because that's probably the damage that we were missing on our last attempt. So we're going to run something like this. Anything else besides the Eloise isn't really a thing that matters. The one thing that is important is you'll notice right there, every single enemy now has that burn dot on their head, and that dot will last for 15 rounds, which is really, really big. And now we just want everybody to hit our Eloise so that we counterattack as often as possible. Now, again, a block attack stone would be better in this situation, but the fact that a nine star might be able to do this is pretty insane. We're about to get our first Phoenix buff, which means we're going to be doing a bunch of extra damage to these targets now when we counterattack and when we use our active skill. And there we go. That one change adding the six star death sworn is all it took. Let's see if we can get this done. That's going to be pretty insane. If a nine, this just shows how powerful an Eloise can be on your account. She like, I just, it's going to be hard to get a kit as good as hers in the future. I don't know if it's ever going to happen that we see a better early game hero than Eloise. We do to make sure, need to make sure our counterattacks are all hitting the boss right there. All those two out of three. Uh, oh no, we're not hitting the boss. We're going to kill off targets. So the way Eloise wins Sealand is she evenly distributes her damage and makes sure the hits are also going to the boss here. Oh, the poison dot is huge. So we don't have any a way to even get rid of the poison dot because, again, we are only nine stars. So we kind of have to win a DPS race at this point. Honestly, I don't know if that Betty CCing was a good thing. Especially since it is a DPS race here. And this Betty is just keeping them CC'd. No, this is fewer hits on the boss. We want more counterattacks when possible. These early rounds aren't a big deal, which normally in the old days, blocking as much early round damage until you can kill some targets off was actually a big deal. And yeah, that poison damage is just stacking up and killing us. So I might have to take this Betty out. We'll see. That was much better for Betty. I'm cool with that. All right, so always hit the boss. Always be hitting the boss. That is the key here. That would be insane, though, if a nine star could actually do this. It's very, very close. Let's be honest. It is extremely close to being possible here. It's just once we get too many poison stacks, that's when it becomes an issue. And I think it's the back row casters that put it on us with their active skill. The boss does, too. Oh. Oh, a lot of targets do. Oh my God. <laughs> Eloise as a freaking nine star hero just cleared this. And again, like, yeah, there is some treasure train, but again, that's nothing. That's nothing crazy. Like you'll be able to see it's none of the normal treasures. It's like some of the ones that you can get completely free to play. Like we got, we got nothing. We have some of the little festival ones from the past event. Like, this is 100% possible as a free-to-play player, and that is pretty crazy. So, let me know what you guys think. Nine star, is that a new record? Technically, it's not like your first hero you're building, because this account obviously has a transcendent, so it does have some more time investment into it, but still only level 114. It might just come down to this pure gold crown is overpowered AF. Let me know what you guys think. See you guys next time.